Most people in America are familiar with medical rights, and medical rights in America typically have privacy rights automatically attached to it. Our problem today is that continuity of care programs are obliterating our rights. What that means is any old orderly can walk in your room, look at your medical chart, and see what's going on with you. And a lot of people monstrously do this just out of curiosity. What we know is curiosity killed the cat. And while I, I might be sharing some story because some reporters and some people who are much higher up in law enforcement are sort of looking things over to see how they can help me get out of the shit that I've been put in by all these immoral people who keep stalking me, harassing me, stealing money from my pockets, and I'm discovering more of that today, that I literally had $5 and some on extra change, almost a dollar's worth of change in my pockets, and now that's marvelously gone, and I don't appreciate that. You see, when a man sleeps, he's allowed to have privacy, but when you are put in a facility and they literally ruin your mind in terms of how long you should sleep or how soundly you should sleep, it's really a form of torture, you see. And we are an American continent, and we don't allow for torture ever in our world. And we don't allow women to molest a man's body. We don't allow men to mutilate their genitalia. And we do not allow total strangers into our medical rights. So when I give examples of me humbly and regardfully, I expect you never to play that shit at me, especially if you're listening to me immorally, which means you're not actually in my professional network. You're not someone I've ever reached out to in any ministry or any networking group. And you're not a part of my life, in fact. So if you're not factually a part of my life, please don't play shit back at me. Because I'm not here for your playtime. I'm not here as your play toy. And I'm most certainly not allowing human trafficking of my body. And we have immoral citizens coming in from foreign worlds wanting to do that to you, to your children, and to me. And I don't like it. And most people don't like it. Nobody wants to be played with in a night in a way that they can't feel what's being done to them. And that, in America today, is very real. It's a real problem we have to face, that people can put something in your food, touch your bag with something, and to put you in a mood, or literally ruin your life completely, take over your life, by producing a lie in a medical or medical mental health record of which people of foreign nations are sliding themselves into without any lawful right to be citizens of our important and vital nation in the world. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is happening in the world of medicine, what is happening in the world of technology, what is happening in the world of education, what is happening in the world of journalism, and what is happening in the news in terms of politics. Politics is the leader of our nation, and politics is something you should pay attention to. The philosophy of our current president is holy in a way that makes sense to most people. He has returned to our country after the Donald disaster Trump being there and him doing his tantruming as a multi-millionaire that most of us can't even conceptualize in our own life of money and finances, that our president, Joe Biden, is returning to America the dignity that we deserve as a major world power in the world.